Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I'm out here once again to try and catch some trout. I got a net with me this time because I'm pretty sure I had a trophy sized brook trout last time, but I had no way to hold and measure it. Let's see if I can do it again. The water up there in the river is ice cold. So I gotta mentally prepare. Last time I was here, I saw minnows in this little creek. They're really hard to catch though. Let's see if I can get one in my net here by trying to wrangle them and round them up. I got one. Holy shit, I got one. Let's see what kind of minnow it is. That. What is this? Leo Shang would know. Should I put it on his bait? Yeah, let's put it on his bait, right? Why not? I think we're gonna go through the nose. There we go, we're gonna try this. He's not on there very well, but hopefully good enough to catch a fish. Maybe a small mouth or a big, big trout. I'm not sure what would go for this. And of course I casted it over the log. There we go. I saw in a video by Panfish Bill They were catching big trout on chunks of cut bait. I didn't know a trout will go for cut bait. Maybe they'll go for a, a big minnow. We'll go down this way a little. Maybe I'll fish it closer to this log jam down here. There we go, come on, let's get a big one. Let's check that drag, all right. Ready to rock and roll. Of course, after I'm done messing with this big minnow, we're gonna go with uh, some corn or some power bait. We're gonna bounce it off the bottom. Got some mice tails, got some power eggs. Today I'm fishing with a Shimano Sienna 1000 on a Daiwa Sweepfire. This one was sent into the show. I had another one like it and it broke out there in the field. Someone was nice enough to send me a replacement. All right, I'm about to give up on this minnow. I was hoping I'd stumble on a bass or a gar or something, but I don't think so. All right, here we go in my KFC reusable tub. I got some canned corn. Let's see what we can do with this. All right, we're gonna swap out the weight. I'm not getting any drift. It's just hanging up on the bottom. So there's not enough current right here. We're gonna adjust. There we go, let's try that. Fish on. Oh, I had a bite.
fish. Got him. First trout of the day. Let's see what we got here. This looks like a brook trout. Let's get him over there and get a measurement on him. Almost 11 inches. Nice. Well, I hope I got everything I needed in the picture because 11 inches is enough for a trophy. A tarp brook trout. That just made my day. There we go. Another fish on. Let's see what we got here. Looks like we got a rainbow trout. There we go. Nice rainbow trout here. All right, we're gonna hold him down here in the water until he's ready to go. There he goes. Just had to hold him in the water for a little bit longer. Let's get rigged up again. Let's get some more bait on here. All right, so far so good. We got one trophy brook trout, trophy for Tennessee, and one rainbow. Let's keep going. I'd love to get one more. Fish. Fish on. Let's see what we got. Here it comes. Looks like we got another rainbow here. Easy. Oh, well, he jumped out of my hands. Since I had him in the net, I'm gonna count him. Time for some new bait. So far, doing okay. I got one brook trout and two rainbow trout. Just casually bouncing the bottom.
fish. All right, looks like we got another rainbow here hooked in the side of the mouth. There we go. Nice, four fish. Today on the corn, we got three rainbows and one brook trout. I had a really good time today. I set out to catch a trophy brook trout, and I did. Ten and a half, almost 11 inches. Well, it's a trophy in Tennessee anyway. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.